Monk was born on December 12, 1863, and then he moved to Oslo, where his mother died from tuberculosis, and then he lost his sister from tuberculosis too. His career as a painter lasted from 1880 to 1943. The Scream is the second most famous art history after Mona Lisa. It is influenced by German Expressionism. What this means is that it is full of anxiety, emotions, and feelings. You can see the skull screaming, but you can't hear it. Edward Monk was traveling with his two friends when he saw a sun setting with a red sky and he started feeling a lot of fear and anxiety. As you can see on the left side, it's a little bit light than the right side. Many of Mog or works are about life and death scenes. Love and the dream of loneliness was often the main people would know, constructing lines, the dark colors, the exaggerating form. His father convinced Monk that the family was coarse. If we compare this image to a screen, this image is too dark. What we can see is a woman with a white dress covering her ears and a tree landing. Also, at the edge of the sky, it has green and yellow. shows a man resting his head in his hand. The man in this image has a pencil mood. This image is called Mogany. What Mog means with a pencil mood is a deep sadness. Many of Monk's pictures means love. For example, in this image called Ashes in 1925, Monk used to meet Melly Town, his cousin wife, in the woods. As you can see, you can see the tree trunks and a dark background. The image is called Anxiety. It was painted in 1894. If you take a good look, this image shows all faces coming over us. Also, this image shows fear. Monk painted this picture when he came back from Paris. This picture is named The Sick Child. It is based on Mom's sister. As you can see, there's a lady crying on the bed and another lady laying down on the bed. The whole family is shown and the emphasis shift from the experience from the dying girl the morning relatives, a way to see of her is early transparent. The younger sister, Laura, is the only one seated in this image. Monk named this image the Green Moon. Two years of eight or so work painted in 1906. This image can be seen as the artistic of Monk's personal decline. Monk's abuse of alcohol 
had affected his nerves. Edward Monk went to sanitarium for 35 years. Monk's work changed. He started using bright colors and loose brush strokes, which makes his painting more joyful. This image is called Love and Pain. Since this image was painted six times, it is also called Vampire. The reason why Mom painted this image is because he experienced many losses of his loved ones. His mother's death affected Monk and suffered from trauma. Do you wonder why Monk painted a mummy in the screen? The reason why Monk painted a skull is because he got really interested in a mummy in Paris with Paul Gauguin. Monk got really interested in the skull in the way that the skull was posted. You take a look at the image. The way that the skull is posing is how the screen is with his hands and its ears and with a mouth open. But the difference is that in the screen, the person that is in there has huge eyes and the skull doesn't. The screen was stolen two times. In 1994, Monk's famous painting, the screen was stolen from a Norway art museum. The screen was stolen on August 22, 2014, daylight hours from a Monk museum in Oslo. The emotions he expressed in his work became more intense than ever before and he entered into one of his most productive periods as an artist. But it was drowned out by the downward spiral of drinking, resulting in mental and physical collapse. Edward refused to give in to misfortune and checked himself into a sanitarium where he successfully regained a measure of control over his drinking. It began in 1892 as a prose poem in which Monk describes an epiphany he had while in the hills above Oslo. He wrote, I was walking along the road with two friends. The sun was setting. The sky turned a bloody red, and I felt a whiff of melancholy. I stood still, deathly tired. Over the blue-black fjord and city hung blood and tongues of fire. My friends walked on. I remained behind, shivering with anxiety. I felt... He needed an outlet to express his troubled, yearning emotions. He needed art. He began formal study at the Royal School of Art and Design and started working in a studio he rented with his friends. After traveling to Paris with the help of a scholarship, Munch returned to Oslo and started working on new paintings. He painted The Sick Child, revisiting the grief of losing his sister and marking a new era in his work. The expensive artwork ever sold at auction at the time of sale. The Scream is the ultimate portrait the portrait of a human soul. 